Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for October 18th, 2023. Aries, before we get into this reading, got a couple of things to show you. We have some new additions to the altar here today. This is my altar. Now, one thing that I like to point out there is when people are like, wow, you can't have an altar. You can only go to an altar church to get an altar. No, bro, you can't have an altar. You can put an altar at your house. You can pray at your altar. You can do whatever you want, okay? <laughs> uh, I got this candle. Also got this bad boy right here, okay? And also got this one right here, okay? An altar is where you pray at, guys. You can have an altar at home, okay? <laughs> also, boom, 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 this bad boy right here. You see this? It's one of those things that you get um, the essential oils and water and you put in and it gets like the little smoke. You can't see the smoke stuff coming out, of course, at the top here. But I wanted to show you guys what I did have to add to my altar here where I pray at. You know, um, I got this, um, <laughs> I got this uh, fortune cookie thing a while back. If you look back in one of the recent reads, I think it was like from last week or something. I finally figured out what it means. Finally, finally. It says here, a clean tie attracts the soup of the day. Okay? A clean tie attracts the soup of the day. And I was wondering for like, ever since I first got it, I was like, what does that even mean? And then I was like, maybe watch what you wear. Your nice clothes are gonna get dirty. <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? Nah, I finally figured it out, yo. Aries, you're out here. Especially Aries, if you're watching this channel, you a sexy, good looking, beautiful Aries. Okay, thank you so much for coming. I love having these beautiful Aries watching my channel. Okay, can't tell you how much. All right, but you out here looking good, you smelling good, you having some type of glow up. Okay, and next thing you know, you gonna have somebody from your past coming in there trying to get that shit fucked on up for you real quick. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, I just, I needed that one, bro. <clears throat> so, Aries, before I get into your reading here, I did get a song for you guys. Um, I got another one while I was walking, but I can't remember if I wrote it down or not. I can't remember it, okay, but uh, I did get this one, um, and this is a song by Escape the Fate. It is called This War is Ours, okay? So... So, the one part of this song I'll just sing for you really quick. It's like, And I will lead you through the smoke and flames on the front lines of war. So, you guys are dealing with someone out here, and it's like, and, and this is not to do with everything else going on in the world. I know we have a lot going on in the world here, Aries. So, um, trust me, I am mindful of that, but this is not about that. You're going to some type of war here with someone in your energy, okay? Spirit guides, guide angels, ancestors, please protect my throat chakra, my crown chakra, my solar plexus, my root chakra, and all the rest of my chakras while I bring this message for Aries today. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. So, you guys got someone in your energy here, Aries, that you're going to some type of war with, okay? Or this person is wanting to go to war with you because they just can't bring you down. They're trying so hard. They're doing everything they can and they just ain't doing it. Why? It's because they're not on the same level as you, Aries, okay? You're on a higher level than they are. You're vibrating at a higher frequency than they are. You are doing things for yourself that this person should be doing for themselves, but they are not. Instead, they're coming in trying to take your shit, okay? You can always tell. If you just pay attention, especially Aries, like I said, if you just look, I think at the um, reading that I did yesterday, um, it's like, and it's like people just, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if they're just, I don't know if the uh, cross watchers out here just ain't watching the videos, but you might want to watch the Aries ones, okay? Because you got to see what you're up against over here, all right? <laughs> Maybe I should put that in the other videos, I don't know. But Aries burn through reality, okay? And what I mean by that is you'll have someone, all right, you'll have this little person coming up in. And they're like, oh, this is what reality is. And they'll put this reality in front of you. And then you got another person coming in and they'll be like, oh, this is what reality is. And they'll just put this reality in front of you. And then what you do as an Aries is you burn through that, okay? 
you figure out what the actual reality is, you see where they're actually coming from, and you pull that forward, and you're like, okay, so this is what the fuck it is, okay? I'll tell you, you're not gonna do that to Caleb motherfucking Morgan McDowell, okay? <laughs> and don't ever forget it. <laughs> and they ain't gonna do it to you either, Aries, because you're smarter than that, okay? And if you're letting this person do that, someone's interested in you, okay? Most definitely, they're definitely also disgusted with you. You could have a DJ somewhere in your energy watching this video, or you are a DJ, and uh, excitement. So you're about to be excited for something, or you are excited for something, okay? I want to go ahead and throw that out there. But yeah, you got somebody in your energy, and they're trying to present a reality to you. And they're trying to say like, hey, yeah, this is what it is. They might act like they're on your team, on your side. Okay, this person's not on your side. Alright, they're coming in, they're trying to take your shit. Alright, they're trying to... All the stuff that you work, worked really hard for because of the bullshit that you had to go through to get to where you are now. Now, understand that the bullshit was something that you did have to go through in order to learn what you needed to learn and stop letting people take from you, okay? But once you went through that, you got to this point now, and now these people all of a sudden coming in like, Oh my God, I miss you so much. I love you so much. You're so amazing. I just can't believe that you were gone. No, this person left your ass, son. You knew, they knew what the fuck they was doing, <laughs> okay? Uh, it's not like we fucking stupid, all right? Also, I found this coin on the ground the other day. I thought this was a quarter at first. I was really excited. I picked it up, and it's got <laughs> a picture of uh, some type of little... Uh, it's a wrench, I guess. Yeah, it's like a wrench on here, and it says Crunch Labs on the front. So you could be some type of mechanic watching this, or something like that, or something. I don't know. Metal? Something to do with metal. Maybe you work with metal. Who knows? Okay, we're going to get right into the reading here, Aries. I'm going to try to make this kind of a quick one. Uh, I've had like a, just a slow start to the day. It wasn't very good. I've been trying to do my challenge. I've been trying to do this other stuff. I had to go to an interview, I mean, an orientation today. Finally start my new job this Friday, so I'm excited about that. So, thank you, Lord. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Let's get an accurate read for Aries today, please. Show me three cards I need to see for Aries. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more for them. One, two, three, four. They want me to do this. Okay, so we're going to do that. Heard that. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I'm also getting that whoever this person is in your energy, if you were dealing with someone in your energy that is like this, what I just stated, First of all, hit that like button down at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please comment in the comment section. I will reply, okay? I reply to all my comments at some point or another. But yeah, you're dealing with somebody, and once you figured out what their true intentions were, you were like, okay, fuck that, I'm pulling back my energy. And then this person was kind of like, actually, I'm pulling back my energy. And they're trying to like, pretend like it was their idea. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh my god, that's just hilarious. And you're just sitting there looking at him like, that just kind of confirms every fucking thing that I was already saying. Um, so especially uh, if you were an Aries out here watching this, if you're dealing with someone in your energy, this could be someone that lies a lot, okay? They're just like a compulsive liar. It's like they're so used to lying that they don't even know why they do it anymore. They're just doing it, okay? So you're dealing with somebody in your energy like this, a compulsive ass liar, okay? And as I said at the beginning of the video, Aries burns through reality, so you kind of can just see this. And intuitively, you can always tell when someone's lying to you. You don't know why or how, and you can't exactly put your finger on it, but you know, okay? Aries are really good at that. We're really good at picking, on, uh, picking up on when somebody's lying to our asses, okay? Because we burn through reality, all right? And you're dealing with this person that likes to lie about little tiny, little tiny shit, just like... You're like, did you take out the trash today? And they say, yeah. And then you get home and the trash is sitting there. And then they're like, well, I was going to. I was actually just, I was in the middle of doing it. And then I got distracted. Like, why are you lying about this? Like, I don't understand. Little things, okay? You're dealing with somebody like that in your energy out here, Aries. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So, let's go ahead. Shuffle this one more time like this. And then we'll get it. Ooh, that's why I didn't want that one to pop out right there. Let's see what it is. Page of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. You have somebody coming in with some kind of offer here. They're like, hey, I know I lied about the trash, but I did buy you this pack of M&Ms. 
<laughs> okay. You got somebody coming in with some kind of offer over here. They're wanting to give you something. They're wanting to make up for the fact that um, they just not good for your energy. Okay. This person is just not good for your energy. That's what I'm getting. Okay. You might want to just maybe take the offer. Okay. For example, this was a gift right here. And I was like, oh, maybe that's what, wow, this person came into this energy. So that way they could give me this gift and then uh, they could leave my energy. And now I have protection. Okay. But I just, as for someone out here, you got someone coming in wanting to give you some kind of gift. That's not exactly what the page of pentacles means. I know that's not what it means, but intuitively that is what I'm getting. So you're going to have someone coming in with some type of gift or money or something like, oh, hey, here's this thing. I really wanted you to have. They don't want you to get that shit, man. They don't really care, okay? The only thing they want is for you to not be seeing what the fuck they're doing. <clears throat> so, pages illustrate many things. As a person, it can show a young boy or girl of the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or you could have this in their in your chart here. Or they uh, have this placement somewhere in their chart. If, if it's not their sun sign, they can still have an earth sign in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Also, show someone who is deeply in love with money and luxury. So, yeah, you're dealing with somebody that's a gold digger over here. They just like want, uh, they're very materialistic, okay? And they like uh, the finer things in life. They don't know how to be happy unless they got something that is material wise, okay? As a message, it bears small tidings of money, usually news of a raise, a bonus, a gift, or a refund, but it can also indicate the act of study, um, economics, accounting, banking, or any of the financial sciences, or even tuition money for school as pages can represent students learning their trade. Compare this card directly to the question at hand and look for a specking card to indicate exactly what this message is here. So yeah, you are either dealing with someone that's going to come in with a gift that is a, a materialistic person or you are about to get some kind of new job, okay? Something like this, a new job, a raise, a bonus, a gift, or a refund, okay? That's what I'm getting. Um, and if that's not the case, then you're um, someone that is studying something new as far as economics, accounting, banking, or any of the financial sciences, okay? So, for those of y'all that don't know, I do use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I use this as a quick reference guide. I do know what most of the card means, most of the cards mean at this point, but at the same time, let me get four right here. At the same time, I do like to have a quick reference guide. One, two, three, four. Queen of Wands, you're showing up in a powerful position as yourself here, Aries, if you're watching this video, okay? I will read the Queen of Wands. Uh, for you is someone, but it is a uh, fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So um, you're showing up in a powerful position here, okay? Courage, assertiveness, confidence, often open and friendly, outgoing, adventurous, honest, frank, resolute, reliable, hardworking. Also could be used for any self-assured, pleasant woman. Uh, preferably, preferably with strong fondness for animals and nature, possibly a tomboy. So if you're a woman watching this, okay, it doesn't have to be a woman. Take it as it resonates, okay? Could be a man or a woman, but you're showing up as this, okay? Um, this courage, assertiveness, uh, confidence, uh, often open and friendly, outgoing, adventurous, honest, frank, resolute, reliable, hardworking, uh, self-assured, pleasant woman, preferably with a strong fondness for animals and nature. So you could be like, you could like animals and nature and you could possibly be a tomboy. You don't have to be, okay? <laughs> but these are the two pop outs. Let's get the uh, past, present, future, please. Spirit, spirit guides, angel, angels, and Archangel Michael. God, please give me a past, present, future read for the Aries today. If somebody avoided a tower moment here. Okay, it was going to happen. I resonate. <laughs> I already knew. They kept telling me, they were like, um... You can do this or this tower moment gonna happen. And I was like, do what? Do what? And they were like this. And I was like, what is it? Where? And they were like, this. You can do this or this tower moment's gonna happen. And I was like, okay, fuck, I'll do it. <laughs> so someone out here is gonna hopefully resonate with that. Uh, you avoided a tower moment, all right? Whatever you did, whatever the spirit was guiding you to do in order to listen to your intuition, they were like, look, you can do it or we're gonna do it for you. It doesn't matter to me, all right? And you were like, all right, fuck, finally. I mean, the first like two or three times you were like, what is it? I don't see it. And they were like, motherfucker, it's right in front of you. And you were like, where? <laughs> Somebody out here did it. Let me get four good ones and then I'll be reading. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Actually, this is it, yo. All right, we have the full reversed. 
the fool is a card of basically now everyone looks at the fool especially if you're like from a religious background as far as christianity goes you're like the fool oh my god that's got to be horrible no the fool is a very good card okay the fool represents everyone uh it basically represents um not knowing it's uh it's like not knowing or understanding exactly what you're doing but you're embarking on some kind of journey here okay you're starting something new you're doing something you've never really done before okay as you can see they have a knapsack all right, but the fool is in the reversal, so it means you already know something here, okay? Or you've already started something here. Um, but on the on the in the past here, it is showing up in the past, so this is something that you already went through, all right? Missteps and fear brought about by over analysis, fear of the unknown. So you're sitting out here and you're like, dang, I really want to do this. I really want to make this leap. I really want to do this thing. But at the same time, is it gonna be worth it? Is it gonna be fun? Am I still gonna be Aries afterwards? Yes, you're still gonna be Aries. It's still gonna be fun. All right, it's still going to be something that you need to do. Believe it. Believe it. Maybe some of you guys like Naruto if you're watching this video out here, okay? <laughs> um, let me turn this a little bit. I just want to get my altar a little bit more in the, in the picture here where I do my meditation and my prayer at. Okay. Fear of the unknown self-limitation forces one to remain in whatever prison they have created for themselves. Inability to act decisively. Um... See, to, so we can check out some other cards to figure out what this limitation is. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll pull some more cards uh, to clarify this. Open it up to reveal how it can be overcome. Hesitance always always means missed opportunities. Also, if the fool steps halfway trying to be on the cliff and off, he will almost certainly fall. Don't do that. So you were sitting here in the past and you're trying to make a decision on something. Now, this could be the tower moment that you avoided. Now, uh, that was that was the card that was on the bottom of the deck. That's why I read that, guys. You did avoid a tower moment, but here in the past, you were sitting there like, mother fuck, I don't know, I ain't really sure. Okay, you're overanalyzing, you're trying to figure out, like I said, like I was saying, <laughs> spirit was like, hey, um, you might want to get this thing at your energy, or you're going to see a tower moment. And you were like, what thing? S sitting right in front of you, right? You are like, what thing? And they're like, th this thing. And, they're, and you're like, where? And they're like, right the fuck in front of you, son. Get that shit out your energy or you're going to go through a tower moment. And you heard tower and you were like, oh shit, okay, I got you. Heard that, yes sir. All right, got that shit out. All right, so it could be this. It feels like um, self-limitation forces to remain in whatever prison they have created for themselves. So you're like stuck because of this person, place, or thing in your energy here. Could be a job, could be a person, could be a living situation. Um, something like that. Gosh. All right, let's get some clarification cards on the full here in the past. One, two, three, boom. Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. All right. Could most definitely be a water sign that you're dealing with. You got two Cups cards here. Cups represent water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay. Queen of Cups upright. This is going to be however this person is, or it could be you yourself here in the reading. Take it as it resonates and flip the roles as you need to. Okay. Emotionally sensitive woman, usually gifted either with some level of psychic abilities or a strong creative talent, artistic, musical, or, or design. Her primary traits are her imagination, sensitivity to the needs and desires of others, her caring nature and love of animals and nature. Astrologically, use this card to represent Cancer, Scorpio, or Piscean woman. Okay. We have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. In the book, it calls it coins, and it drives me insane because they have coins and cups, and I like my little bit of dyslexia or whatever the fuck I got just gets it all mixed up, and I'm like, oh... Shows we were missing out on all work and no play leads to a life of work and possibly wealth and power, but to what end? Now, this could be the person that you're dealing with here. Um, this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio doesn't have to be. They could just have Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in their chart. Okay, take it as it resonates. But this person out here um, is, is like looking at what they're missing out on because they spend all this time, energy, and effort working for this material wealth that they want. And once they get it, they're just like, yes, I have it. But they spend all their time working in order to pay for it, okay? You're dealing with someone like that and your energy. Yep, that's what I'm getting, okay? So this is the two of cups here. See, I just went to two of coins. Drives me insane, son. <laughs> Two of Cups. So um, this is also showing up as a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, it says a date, chance meeting, new romance, and engagement. Um, it doesn't have to be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, it could just be either uh, another placement in your chart or another placement in someone else's chart that is in your energy that you are dealing with. Okay. Um, chance meeting, new romance, and engagement. Proposal or hand-fasting agreement or truce between two parties. Law settlement. Or man asking a woman out, 
He is approaching her. Deeper meanings. Tantric union soulmate card. Use this card in your meditations to attract the right person for you. Conversely, this card in can indicate successful contract signings in business, uh, conflict resolution, um, or promotion, raise, or loan. Okay? Uh, this is a very lucky or fortunate card. It's also the physical manifestation of the concept of the lover's major arcana card. So yeah, it's like um, asking someone else resonates. Okay? Should resonate with someone out here if you're watching this video. It's pretty awesome. Okay? Loving that. Let's look at this uh, Six of Cups reversed. Okay? Do, 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 do. So this is the present. This is something that you're, you're looking forward to or, or going through right now. Okay? This card often indicates a longing for everything. This card represents upright. Okay, so upright is the simple act of giving. Children uh, illustrates uh, children. The natural is card of simple kindness or, or so fear. So this represents um, a longing for basically um, no fierce battles, uh, no glories won or lost, uh, a gift, okay? or the giver of gifts and also represents children. So this represents, and this is also a water card, okay? So Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio could be in your energy very well. This person probably wants a kid with you or vice versa. Okay, take it as it resonates. Um, but it says reversed. This card indicates a longing for everything this card represents upright. It also indicates stress, lack of close, deep relationships with considerate people, false friends, and a need for deeper connection with self. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that is like this. This could be you, Aries, if you're watching this and you have a water sign placement in your chart, okay? But uh, it is showing that whoever this person is, I'm getting at someone else. Uh, this person in your energy here, they, they have people around them all the time, but they don't really have any close interpersonal relationships and the reason for that uh is because um how they present themselves to the people you know i can like go over here to this person and be like hey i really like um rolls royces and then i go to this person and be like yeah i'm totally fine with driving my little crappy truck okay <laughs> these people probably talk to each other okay they know that you're a person or this person in your energy here they know that you're a person that lies a lot okay and they know for a fact that you say one thing and then do another, okay? Not you specifically, Aries, but you have someone in your energy out here like this, okay? Um, false friends need for a deeper connection with self. So yeah, this person needs to find themselves. They need to get a deeper connection with themselves and also with spirit, most likely is what I'm getting. It is showing up as a water sign. Doesn't have to be. King of Wands, wow. You're showing up in a very powerful position here, Aries. King of Wands popped out, okay? You also have the Queen of Wands pop out, okay? <laughs> so you could be uh, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands are counterparts. You could be a King of Wands that is showing up as yourself here, Aries, and you're about to find your counterpart, which is pretty awesome is what I'm getting, okay? It seems that you had to let go of some type of energy in your um, space here in order to uh, let this counterpart come in. But the King of Wands, this is a man's man, one of adventure, action, and machismo, usually quick to anger with a fiery, intense personality. He is usually too impatient to invest his valuable time scheming. Boom, shakalaka. His way is direct, forceful, and to the point, so he is often honest simply from the lack of cunning. Choose this card for a leader, a boss, or any highly dangerous profession. Alternatively, you can use this card to represent any man of the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, a fiery tempered man, or a red headed man over 30. It's a good thing I'm under 30, bro. So as soon as I hit that 30 mark, my hair is gonna, just gonna turn fire red, bro. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I'm just walking around. All right, one, two, three, four, boom. Let's clarify this. Cups. Wow, you also have the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands and the Five of Wands. Yo, you got all these Wands cards, Aries. This is reading is for you, baby, okay? If you like what I'm saying so far, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I'll read it, okay? And I'll also reply to it, all right? Let's look at the Knight of Wands really quick. See what that Knight has to say for you. Boom, the Page of Wands is in reverse. Okay, Knight of Wands, no time for explanations. We have to move now. Okay, maybe a quick explanation, but then we have to take action. This is a card of rallying, swift, sudden movement, decisive action, high adventure, sudden movement, especially road trips, impromptu vacations, hyperactivity, active danger seeking young men, the hunt. Occasionally, this card paired with a search of swords, the chariot to indicate travel or relocation. A uh, card could also signify a young man with red hair, an aggressive, impulsive personality, should you wish to do so. Page of Wands, reversed. 
Unhappy news, suddenly, arguments, unruly children, mild danger, if regarding to any employment listed above, problems with pregnancy or small children, rebel or minor rebellion, also impotence. So you could be dealing with someone like this in your energy here. Um, or you could be, or if it is you, Aries, you're going to be getting some kind of news uh, that's not going to make you very happy. Okay. Arguments, unruly children, mild danger, um, problems with pregnancy or, a, or small children, rebel or minor rebellion. So be wary of that. Also, this five of wands in the upright, okay, this is going to be, this is something to do with like arguing or fighting or something with someone. Uh, look closely at the players. Um, everyone has their own idea how things should be done, and this is what happens when those ideas come into contact with each other. So if you're someone watching this video, you could have a fire sign in your energy, or you could be a fire sign, okay? Either you or them are getting some kind of bad news, um, and it also is like representing a madhouse, so... <laughs> A situation evolving into a circus, egos flare with some work, while some work to find harmony, others prance and dance to their own own tunes, step lightly or run at this time, let cooler head, heads prevail. So whatever energy that you are dealing with here, don't be jumping to conclusions, trying to like do this or do that in order to get any type of like revenge or anything. Don't worry about that shit, okay? Take a step back, focus on yourself and what you need to do, and let some kind of cooler heads out there that are dealing also with this energy, let them people deal with that shit, okay? Why? Because those people probably already have to deal with this person enough. All right, you already know that if you keep dealing with this person, they're going to piss you the fuck off and you're going to do something stupid. So you need to step your ass back. All right. <laughs> Take your time, energy, focus on yourself, do what you need to be doing for yourself. Okay. And then move forward. Okay. And if spirit is, is calling you to move forward with this energy, then you go ahead. If not, keep on moving forward another direction. All right. You got to keep going back to these same ass motherfucking people. Hell no. Fuck that shit. All right. Three of Swords and the Reversal, healing from some pain here in the future, Aries, okay? Swift, healthy recovery after surgery, rectifications of injuries sustained, emotional healing after a brutal heartache, restitutions offered under command and authority figures. So, you're healing from something, okay? You definitely got something good coming on for you, all right? Let's look, let's clarify this Three of Swords for Aries in the future, please. What was that? Something just flipped around. I'm about 90% sure I saw something flip around in here. Could be wrong. Yeah, okay. The moon. Somebody doesn't want you talking about this situation. They want you to keep it under the moon. They want you to um, keep it to yourself, okay? But nope. <laughs> Screw that. Too damn bad. One, two, three, four. All right, we have the Ace of Cups and the Reversal, okay? We have the um, Seven of Swords and the Reversal, and we have the Page of Swords. So, Ace of Cups in the reversal, it means that you had some type of opportunity that is now being taken away from you, okay? And the good thing is, it, and it seems it is coming to me as a good thing, the reason that it's coming to, uh, being taken away from you is because you uh, cut yourself loose from this energy that is no longer serving you, okay? This energy was not good for you anyway. This energy was coming in trying to take your shit, okay? And it seems like they had some kind of opportunity they were going to give to you. They were like, oh yeah, this is awesome. It was um, delusions of grandeur, okay? And this person's like, well, now you're not going to get that. Okay, well, good. I didn't want that shit anyway. If you would just listen to what I am saying. <laughs> Depression, unhappiness, and malaise, potentially devastating. Now, this is a cup card. This could be a, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that you're dealing with here, Aries. Be wary of that. So this person or you, if you have water in your placement, could be you, okay? But it says depression, unhappiness, and malaise, potentially devastating news, loss of love, faith, or happiness, separation from one's personal source of inspiration and hope, drug overdose and a medical spread, or if it's affected negatively by swords cards. Oh my shit. Somebody could be doing th or going through some kind of drug overdose in the future here. It says if affected negatively by sword cards, um, and you have two swords cards right here beside it, okay? And the first one is seven of swords, uh reversed okay so the seven of swords reversed is actually um a something about something being stolen given back to you uh return of stolen merchandise or borrowed items uncovering of plots and conspiracies the bad guy gets caught conversely unfounded accusations and paranoia okay so yeah somebody in your energy here you need to be wary of this person if this person does drugs or they like to do drugs or they like to drink alcohol they're going to be like excessively doing it and it's like going to be like an overdose okay so you need to be wary of this person okay so it's like let them down but let them down easy or something i don't fucking know i mean just be wary of this person okay because oh that says paired with eight of swords never mind okay 
So just be careful because this person is going to be trying to do something in order to make you feel or keep you stuck, okay? This person wants you to be stuck and they want to keep you stuck and they're like trying to go off of the fact that you're an emotional human being and they're like trying to go based off of your emotions that you're going to be this way. Like, oh, okay, if I do this, this is going to make them stay here, stuck with me. No, okay? What they need to realize is that even though you're an emotional human being, you have control over your emotions and it's up to you to have control over your emotions. It's not up to anybody else out here. Okay. So you got to get control of those emotions areas. If you're sitting out here and you're an emotional person and you're like, like following your emotions all the time, meditate, do breath work, go for a walk, go for a jog, find a way to ground yourself. Aries, if you're near fire or if you feel fire or you like fire, that's a good way to ground yourself. As an Aries, that's how I ground myself a lot of the time. I love my fire, my little candles right here. Ground yourself because even though emotions are hard and they are something that sometimes feels like they're really hard to control, you have to have control of them. It is your destiny, okay? <laughs> it's your birthright in order to, um, um, was it, gain and, and have money and wealth, but it's also a rule for you here, Aries, as a being a human being in this world, in this planet, to have control over your emotions and have control over your frequency in order for you to obtain your birthright. It's your birthright to be rich, okay? Write that in the comments. It is my birthright to be rich, okay? <laughs> I am wealthy, write that as well. I am wealthy, I am powerful, I am intelligent, okay? Someone out here is mad because they can no longer pull the wool over your eyes and make you believe that they're a good person in your energy here when they are not, okay? Also could be dealing with an air sign. Because you do have these two swords cards, so it's Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, okay? Page of Swords. Young boy or girl student, either of the qualities of the suit of swords, rash, loud, defensive, angry, potentially violent, or the element of air, intellect, intelligent, studious, hyperactive, razor wit. If this card indicates a message, expect the wording to be sharp and pointed, like unpleasant news or something delivered with disdain. When this card indicates a situation or a state of being, it reflects the act of taking the moral high ground, vehemently arguing a point, speaking from a platform, teaching, lecturing, or preaching. It does not indicate a war of words, but rather a spirited exchange, unless, unless negatively aspected. Okay, so yeah, someone out here is going to be indulging in some type of alcohol or drugs or something. All right, It's going to be bad. It's going to be like an overdose, especially even if it's alcohol. It could be alcohol poisoning or something like that, but um, someone out here is going to be doing something, all right? Could be an air sign, could be a water sign, doesn't have to be, all right? So that's Big Bubba back to clarify some of this. Big Bubba, what you got to say, boy? We want to hear it. Show me three cards for Aries today. Clarify the situation a little bit more for him. Give me something that's going to resonate with these Aries watching these videos. These really good looking Aries, love you guys. Could be a Gemini watching this, yo, because just like I think I did the Gemini read yesterday, and whenever I'm doing reads now, that fucking song by Fat Lip keeps coming out. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it right now. Uh, As a kid, was a kid. No one know my name. I trashed my own house party. No I trashed my own house party because nobody came. Well, I know I'm not the one you thought you knew back in high school. Yeah, that song. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is. Write down the name of that in the comments if you don't mind. Let me know what it is because I don't remember. I just did this all yesterday for our Gemini, so I should remember, but I don't. One, two, three, four. Okay. Bracelet. Boom. Something about a bracelet. Okay. Someone out here watching this uh, is wearing a bracelet or has a bracelet. Also a ring. Something about a ring going on. Uh, it could be asking someone to marry you or someone wants to ask you to marry them or something. Somebody's pissed off. All right, it says anger right here. It could be you or someone watching this video, a uh, cross watcher, you or someone else in your energy. Uh, someone likes Marvel, I guess, like the comics, Marvel, or they're marveling over you. Uh, pregnancy, someone could be pregnant or uh, there's a pregnancy coming in or you're about to find out that someone in your energy is pregnant or you are. Uh, it could be a queen uh, or you're seen as a queen or something about a queen here, queen bee, maybe like Beyonce. Um, orchid. You could have an orchid plant, or you like orchids, or something about orchid. Also, fear, okay? Someone is upset and worried about something. Could be you or them or something. They have fear because of the knowledge that you have is what I'm getting, okay? They're like, damn, I cannot believe that he has so much knowledge. Someone out there is doing that or thinking that about you, Aries. They could be fearful of the kind of person that you are. They're like, holy shit. Bubba, listen. <laughs> Listen to what I'm saying, okay? Because this is for you, Aries. 
That's enough from Big Bubba Mac. Let's go ahead and get the message from the Ancestor Oracle cards. I still got two reads to do after this one, Aries. That's why I'm kind of trying to do it in a hurry. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to get a good message, but also trying to do it a little quicker than usual. Let's see what your ancestors want to say to you today, Aries. Ancestor, Spirit Guide, Angels, Guide, Archangel Michael, please let me get a message from the ancestors for Aries today. Clear and concise, please. Let me get a message for the Aries today. Clear and concise. Boom, chaka like a Taurus. <laughs> Could be a Taurus watching this video, okay? Maybe, it doesn't have to be. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right, what do we got? Writer or words, okay? You're someone who uses your words very well. You could have a platform or you use writing or something like this, okay? Another thing you can do to ground yourself, figure out what you need to do is write. I write every single day. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Something wants to pop out, but they're like, oh, not that one. Not sure. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four. That's one. That's one. Third. Air, breath. Okay. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius watching this video or something about the breath. You need to do breath work. Okay. In order to get your emotions under control, use breath work i have to do that every single day when i'm walking my dog at least once or twice okay because i'm a very impatient person and we stop a whole lot of times stop start stop start all the time when i'm walking my dog and by the time i'm like the 57th stop start in i'm like oh my god <laughs> let's go and she's like okay dad in just a second let me just sniff this over here and it's like nothing it's like she's sniffing the plants or something you know i don't see and i don't understand why she's sniffing but she does so that's something that you need to be wary of okay one, two, three, two, three. We also have animal instinct. Whenever I see the animal instinct card, what I get is, is you need to listen to your, uh, your, <laughs> your intuition. You need to listen to what spirit is trying to say to you because you have someone in your energy that is trying to paint a picture of how they are right in front of your face and it's not how they actually are. They have a hidden agenda. Their true intentions are not what they're saying they is, okay? They're going to come in like, I love you. I miss you so much. No, they just want your shit. Okay. Now let me get the one that Ancestor wants to show. Ancestors, show me the one for Aries today. One, two, three, four. We get one more four and that'll be the one. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's it. All right. Singer or voice. You could be a singer or you use your voice in some type of way. As I already said, you could have a platform, okay, where you... Do a tarot channel you could have a platform where you do something where you show people something or you really like to sing or you really like to use your voice as far as singing goes excuse me okay let's see what the card says all right <clears throat> This is what the card means. It says, we have the ability to emit a remarkable array of sounds starting with speech and all of the variations and intonations that a spoken language demands. Although several, although several other animals also express through their voice in some manner, the human voice is characterized by a wide range of possible expressions depending upon volume, pitch, inflection, and other characteristics. This range of possibilities becomes even more apparent with singing. Singing depends on four mechanisms. The lungs, which supply the air. The larynx, which acts as a reed or vibrator, the chest, head cavities, and skeleton, which functions as an amplifier, and the tongue, which works with the palate, teeth, and lips to articulate and form the sounds that come forth. Aside from the technical description of the mechanics involved, singing can express any mood, of, no, any mood you're feeling at times coming from a deep and soulful place, giving voice to emotions that can't be expressed in other ways. It's a direct window into our soul, one we can tap into anytime we choose. <clears throat> see if this continues it does this is what your ancestors want you to hear today through me drawing this card it says seeing as if no one is listening that's something that i do every single day especially when i'm on my walks okay it is in seeing as if no one is listening is an adage that is appropriate whether you sing by yourself with a group or to an audience the self-consciousness you may feel when you sing or attempt to sing fostered by shame that most that most likely was embedded early in childhood physically restricts your vocal cords constricts your breathing tightens your muscles and inhibits the range of your voice <clears throat> 
The result is when you attempt to sing, your inner critic jumps in to chastise you. This reinforces the already existing shame you feel at such self-expression. The, bar the barriers that were constructed in childhood and maintained through adulthood can now be dissolved. However, it will take your willingness to do so what's necessary to lose that well-rehearsed self-consciousness. Start by singing in the shower, sing, singing when no one's around, then take a few voice lessons. With or without a musical instrument, make songs up just as an uninhibited child would do. Over time, you'll find that singing regularly increases your confidence when speaking as well, and your breathing will improve even when you're not singing. Most of all, have fun with this, and remember to call on this ancestor to support, to support your efforts. Boom chakalaka. Aries, this is going to be the end of your reading today. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment sections if this resonated with you today. I do read all of my comments, and I do reply to all of them, okay? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward, okay? Um, if you're dealing with this person in, the, in your energy here, just be wary of this person, okay? I don't think this person really wants to be like this. I feel like it's just how they are, okay, based on something that they can't control, okay? Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. Love you guys. As always, love yourself first.